Hi, it's Jim Enright, the real estate and mortgage source for Chapelboro.com. Today, I'm pleased to have the first of many interviews with local experts in the real estate market. The purpose is to help you in buying, selling, or financing your homes and to answer your most pressing questions. Now, in these interviews, I'm going to take every opportunity to milk, grill, or sacrifice sacred cows so that you get no fluff information that you can use today. Allow me to introduce Kathy Legnioli. Now, Kathy has been in Chapel Hill for over 16 years. She has been in real estate longer than that, or has even greater experience in real estate. And she has a very unusual hobby. What is that, Kathy? Beekeeping. Beekeeping. So, for you beekeepers, you might want to talk with Kathy. Right. Well, Kathy, I get a number of questions, and I think the real estate market is really crowded right now. You hear about all sorts of houses on the market, some not Absolutely. selling. So what would be the first thing that somebody thinking of considering selling their home should uh, do or should begin thinking about? Well, there are lots of things that they need to do, but the very, very first thing is to think about their home, walk through that home, and think emotionally, what can I do to withdraw my family or myself from this home to make space for the new buyer? What that means is usually taking down some of the photos. You don't have to take down all the photos. Removing most of the memorabilia. Removing uh, Aunt Sally's quilts that are all over the house. And taking away a lot of stuff and fluff and clutter. And the reason that that home buyer will be looking at your home is probably because if they're not being transferred to the area, it's because whatever home they're living in right now, they don't have enough space. So you need, that's another part of the equation, but you really need to just emotionally remove yourself from the house. And it's a good thing for you too, emotionally, to be prepared that you are leaving this home that you've spent so much time, effort, and love in. So it's a good thing for you also. Well, Kathy, as a homeowner who, who knows, may sell, but if, I, or if I'm a homeowner, I'm there and I'm looking throughout my house and seeing pictures, quilts, chairs, pianos, and all this other stuff, I, what do you do with that stuff? I mean, do you have a yard sale or do you put a, you get one of those uh, rumble pods and just put it in the uh, well, um, driveway? But you can put a pod in the driveway. It doesn't look very nice. What I would suggest is that you rent a rental unit and be able to put extra furniture, your extra things in there so they'll be nice and safe. Make sure you get a weather controlled uh, storage unit so that your things won't suffer from mold or mildew or whatever. You want them to be safe for the time it takes to sell your home. Okay, so that could actually take a lot of preparation to get going. I mean to move all those photos right. and, and to get done. How long does it usually take people to really do a good job and how often do you have to go through and say, okay, this is the first take, go ahead and take care of this, now let's move this, this, and this. Does that happen often? Well, I think the emotional uh, part of it usually takes a couple of weeks for folks to just wrap their head around the idea that, you know, we really need to move. Uh, this house just won't cut it for us anymore. The kids are gone. We need to downsize now. So that takes a couple of weeks. And then uh, some folks can do the rest very quickly, and then other folks it takes seems to take a month, two months, sometimes three months. Okay, okay, so it's not an immediate process. No, no. Okay. it's different for everyone. Great, all right. Well, Kathy, thank you very much. Thank you, Jim. Now, Kathy, we probably have some more tips that we're going to offer in right. upcoming uh, issues of Chapelboro.com. Now, if anybody would like to reach Kathy, she can be reached at www.gokathy.com, and that's Kathy with a K. All right. Now, if this information was helpful for you, please pass it on to your friends and neighbors, and by all means, tell everybody about Chapelboro.com. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. This is Jim Enright saying, see you soon.